Some campaigners say fracking is dangerous. That is not the case. This film explains the facts. What does fracking mean? Fracking is a shorthand term for a process called hydraulic fracturing. This is a technique used to release natural gas from rock. It's a standard process in the oil and gas industry and has been carried out more than a million times over the last 50 years. Why do we need to frack? Natural gas is used for power and heating. For example, 8 out of 10 UK homes have gas central heating. It also provides a raw material used to produce thousands of everyday products that we couldn't live without, including plastics, medicines and electronics. But a lot of our gas is trapped in rock deep underground. Fracking is the process that enables us to capture this gas. What does fracking actually involve? There are a lot of steps that need to be completed to make sure fracking can be done safely. Right up front we monitor detailed background environmental data. We do this for a year before we drill a well and we complete comprehensive 3D seismic tests to build an accurate picture of the rocks 1 to 5 kilometers below the surface. This information helps us to find the safest place for a well. Next we drill a coring well to take samples to give us essential information about the structure of the rock and the amount of gas it contains. All regulated activities have to be approved by the authorities and local planning. So when do you start to frack the main site? The whole process is strictly regulated by UK authorities. First, we need to drill a standard well, reinforced with multiple layers of steel and concrete. More than a million wells have been drilled in the UK over the last 50 years. When the well approaches the shale rock, it turns to run horizontally. This is between 1 and 5 kilometers down. The well here is around 6 inches wide. With the well in place, fracking can proceed. First, a perforating gun punctures the well, making small holes along the horizontal section. Next, the fluid is pumped through these at high pressure into the shale rock. This is done in short sections. The shale naturally has a network of tiny fractures. The fluid flows into these and widens them. The gas in the rock can then pass through these fractures back to the well and up to the surface. Is it safe to have fractures in the rock? Yes. The fractures are around 5 mm at their widest. Sand in the frac fluid flows into them and stays there so they can't close again. This all takes place deep underground and cannot be felt on the surface. The fractures don't come anywhere near water supplies, which are always close to ground level. The only way for the gas to reach the surface is through the reinforced well. How long does it take? Fracking normally takes around seven days. The fluid is pumped for short periods during this time. Gas then typically flows for around 20 years. Campaigners say that there are lots of issues associated with fracking. We have produced a series of short films like this one that address the concerns raised. We hope that you'll be able to watch them and that they will answer any questions that you have. There is also information on our website and an email address you can write to. The Royal Academy of Engineering, the Royal Society, the Health and Safety Executive and the Environment Agency have all concluded that fracking is safe if best practice is used and the monitoring is robust. INEOS will carry out shale gas production to the highest safety and environmental standards.